Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add a watermark in Camtasia Studio 7. Begin by opening Camtasia Studio and then make sure that you have a video on the timeline. For demonstration purposes I'm going to use the digital radius animation and I'm going to use the editing dimensions 1920 by 1080 which is full 1080p HD. To make sure that our production looks good I'm going to go to zoom and pan right click the video thumbnail and click snap to video edges to remove that black border once you're ready to produce your video to a video format click produce and share then drop down this box and select your custom production settings if you don't have any custom production settings click this annotation now to watch my video on how to produce in full 1080p or 720p HD in Camtasia Studio 7 once you have custom production settings, click add slash edit preset. Then drop down this box and select your desired preset. Then click the edit button. Presuming that you've already predefined these settings, keep clicking next until you get to this window. Then put a tick in the checkbox next to include watermark. Then click options. Click this folder icon here to locate the image. I'm going to use my logo as demonstration. So just locate the image in the Windows Explorer, like so. And then you see a preview of what your watermark is going to look like on the video. You can edit all the settings in this window to your preference. For instance, if you put a tick in emboss, you can see what happens. And you can change the depth here. You can also use a transparent color. You can click color to then choose the color on this grid and you can change the opacity as well. You can also choose your image scale, i.e. how big the image is. So obviously you want it relatively small, being it's a watermark, and so it's not intrusive to the video itself. You can also choose the position by clicking one of the grids here, as you can see. Usually bottom left or bottom right is used, but it's up to you. You can also change the horizontal and vertical offset for exact positioning like so. Once you've chosen your settings here, click the OK button and then click Finish. Then close, drop down this box and select your given preset. Then click Next, give your production a name, choose where you'd like to save it and then for demonstration purposes I'm going to play video after production. Then click Finish. Wait for your project to render And as you can see, my watermark is now displayed in the bottom right of the video. So that watermark will now be there throughout your production. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, feel free to like, comment and favourite. Thanks for watching.